In a Kolkata, strong winds upturned cars, felled trees and electricity poles. Parts of the city were plunged into darkness. The streets were waterlogged and trees uprooted. Uh, Kolkata and several other districts faced a power outages at night with the power supply only being restored late at night or this morning. Now take a look at the Kolkata airport visuals which uh, remains uh, shut. It was left flooded and many structures within have been damaged. At least two hangars in the airport have collapsed damaging the aircrafts inside. There you can see uh, the runway completely flooded, the hangars also flooded in Kolkata airport and take a look at the hangar that has collapsed uh, damaging the aircraft inside. Well, earlier we spoke to NDDP, ND, NDTV's uh, Monadipa for more details on the kind of damage that is being seen in Kolkata. We will just have to wait and, you know, wait for the bad news from the districts because South 24 Parganas, North 24 Parganas, parts of East Midnapur, West Midnapur, Howrah, Hooghly, uh, and even up uh, as far as Nadia we are hearing, uh, the situation was grim last night. And, of course, uh, everywhere damage is being reported, loss of life is being reported. Uh, I'm at Salt Lake and uh, even right here where I live, uh, trees are down by the dozen you can see one behind uh, uh, me that is kind of blocking the road in front of my house and in this particular block of salt lake uh, there are so many trees uh, that have fallen that this is just as an example that people are having difficulty getting out of the block in the first place but to the loss of lives the dreadful news coming in uh, last night we had three confirmed uh, people dead uh, one they were all from the districts so one was from Hara, another one uh, was from Minakha in North 24 Parganas and a third, a young man uh, out of Bushirhat also in North 24 Parganas. Late last night uh, we also heard that two people had possibly died and that's been confirmed now at Regent Park in Kolkata itself when a wall collapsed, a wall under which they were clearly uh, sheltering. Um, the Chief Minister has said 10 to 12 people may be dead uh, but the kind of ferocity we saw yesterday is ominous. Uh, the damage to property enormous hundreds and hundreds of houses have collapsed pakka houses a few of those too but mostly kacha houses out in the districts uh, they have just vanished uh, you know merged with the earth as it were kacha houses made of uh, just mud or just plain bricks that had not been cemented over uh, as for trees that is going to be the biggest challenge clearing the trees already uh, you know ministers are out on the streets trying to clear them. Tree cutters were dispatched uh, to several districts uh, yes, by yesterday itself. Uh, you never realized how badly they would be needed. And uh, then there is the power situation. Last night, vast parts of Kolkata and other parts of the districts uh, went without power for hours. Some of the power outage was intentional so that there was no electrocution. Uh, so that was a big issue. Power went out for hours, was restored late at night. Uh, in other places, the power just went because lines collapsed. And there have been reports already of electrocution in Barakpur, uh, which is uh, north of Kolkata, where apparently a woman's body, and this is not accounted for, I don't have a confirmation, uh, but a woman's body was just found lying on a narrow lane. She had been electrocuted. So that was one reality that the government had to deal with, electrocution from fallen power lines. So what we had is uh, in the middle of the um Tandav, which is the word that Mamta Banerjee used, she ordered that uh, no more uh, tree cutting or removal of poles was necessary. Uh, let the whole cyclone subside and then we'll do it. Because the people who are going in to clear the debris, they were at huge risk. Uh, so another issue that has happened in the villages, and I was talking to a few people in the, uh, you know, whose families are in villages. They were saying that, you know, people were very reluctant, as always, to go to relief shelters because they'd have to leave their home behind, their cattle behind, and so they stayed home.